Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Vimo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now I'm back with a quick post fight video. Devin Alexander versus Victor Ortiz, or Ortiz Alexander, took place on Fox, courtesy of PBC, on Showtime. Shout out to my dude, Caleb Plant. He was on the co-main event, and he was styling on Porky Medina. He was picking his shots, and he fought smart. Some people were acting like this they were so bored and stuff but listen get the w capture the w because porky medina had one good real good round like round 11 where caleb took some shots and they were like oh he needs to go back to boxing caleb he he this is dangerous for him so you know what i mean you can't fight for the crowd or announcers or whatever main event victor ortiz versus Devin alexander i thought it was a, a solid appetizer type fight because we have so much boxing we had chris Eubank Jr., George Groves, main event. We had a main event with Brandon Rios and De uh, Danny Garcia. So I wasn't really tripping off Ortiz versus Alexander fight. I watched the fight. I thought Alexander clearly won. He dictated, especially in the early rounds. He was getting off with some sharp, shorter shots. Victor Ortiz, I guess uh, you could say he showed some heart, but it's, it's hard to say that for me because he battled some he had like a cut over his eye and his eye started to get swollen so in that regard he showed heart but the thing that has given victor ortiz from what i've seen issue was when he was in there with real rugged guys or big punchers stuff like that like marcos maidana those are the fights he quit against you know what i mean and then he got hit flush by floyd he and he was that was a skill deficit he seen how skilled floyd was so he kind of just that eh. you know what i mean Josito was real rugged and got his jaw broke so he's like yeah you know I mean luis court luis uh Colazzo, stuff like that so i mean i guess you can give ortiz heart points but they ruled it i think it was a majority decision draw it was not a draw like devin alex it was actually a really easy fight to score it wasn't that hard to score i guess you could say so i thought they totally blew the actual outcome of the fight and see this there was so much boxing i don't know if they did this on purpose but it started overlapping with the showtime card so i was on fox and i watched the whole ortiz alexander fight i changed the channel thinking De devin alexander had it in the bag and i clicked on the showtime card to watch the new ray robinson versus yugos which was it was actually getting good and um the new Ray Robinson ended up getting stopped. So shout out to you guys. And then someone later told me on Twitter that Devin Alexander got robbed. So I didn't even watch the outcome because I thought it was so certain who won. And I didn't think they would, could get that wrong. But apparently it's boxing. So they got it wrong. Maybe that was an effort to preserve both fighters' careers. So no one, you know what I mean, draws a half win, half loss. Um, they both fought valiantly. So maybe they're just like, oh, we don't want to damage someone else's careers to the point where because this was considered a crossroads fight where it was a must win situation now if it's a draw it's kind of like a slap on the wrist you can't say oh victor ortiz lost even though he did lose in my opinion you know what i mean so i don't know what happened with the judges scoring but they got to fix this shit in boxing because devin alexander clearly won the fight the other thing i did not understand aside from the scoring was how in the hell was this a wbc title eliminator you know what i mean I thought Sean Porter was fighting title eliminators, which makes more sense. Sean Porter beat Devin Alexander for the title. He's been more active. He's fought the Granados and the Bertos. Better competition recently. You know what I mean? So I feel bad for Devin Alexander. I think he was robbed of a, a rightful win. And I don't use the term robbery often, but I do think he was um, in charge of the fight winning. Like I said, Victor Ortiz, he showed some heart. And he was, he was in there trying, even though his eye was... Uh, swelling and he was bleeding but to me he didn't win the fight he didn't do enough and he was conceded at a couple times like when the round went in he would touch gloves and dap up Devin Alexander I thought Devin Alexander just paced himself he looked more controlled and more in control and 
put together shorter shots and, and better punches. But I mean, it was competitive enough to the point where it was entertaining. But I, I still think Devin won. So let me know what you guys think of the outcome. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I'm about to go finish watching David Benavidez versus Ron Gavro part two. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.